Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to my Tamai B. My name is Val, and this week I'm going to share with you the keys to train a healthy mind. So the first K I'm going to talk about is knowledge. Every day we consume new knowledge, different knowledge from friends, from family, from school, from work, from internet, from books, and so on and so forth. So, do you realize something that the more that you learn, the more knowledge that you gain, actually you find out there's more that you don't know. That's what happened to me. So, what I would say, remind you today is that knowledge is infinite. That we would need to learn every single day. We would need to gain new knowledge every single day to elevate ourselves. So, what does this have to do with healthy mind? So basically, to train a healthy mind, you need to have new information to train your, your mindset intentionally. Is that right? So, every day you'll be fed in new knowledge and you need to be aware of this knowledge and apply it to your current daily life. And one thing about being a healthy person having a healthy mindset is that you always need to have this childlike curiosity so you need to commit to yourself that you need to learn a new knowledge every single day every day there is going to be something that you don't know and you need to have this childlike curiosity to find out what you don't know learn something new every single day and that actually would help you in the path of building or creating a healthy mind and no matter who you are there is no limits to what you can learn there's no limits to knowledge and uh, what I can learn that day you don't ever think that you know it all because you don't and so every day is still a learning process and, and you just you can't ever get caught up with who you are because you're worth a few billion dollars and, and you have an extremely large company. And because like I said, the day I, I don't look in the back of my head, that paddle's gonna get my ass. Everything that you learn, every knowledge that you gain every single day, it's a means to elevate yourself, to increase your personal value, your personal growth. So, that's one of the K that I want to talk to you about. And the second one would be kindness. It's free, you guys. It's free to show a simple kindness to anyone you meet today. You don't need anything in return. Well, I have a friend. She is always thinking about doing everything by herself she just wanted to do everything like let's just say her car broke down she want to figure it out herself even though she doesn't know how to change a tire and i would just ask like why don't you want to ask for someone's help and she's like what can i give them in return wait a second why do you want to give someone in return for asking for help i mean let me ask you this, if you see someone, a petite girl, and her car broke down by the side of the road, would you help and would you really ask for something in return? No, right? Showing someone kindness don't really need a return. I mean, just imagine if every single one of you today just show kindness without thinking of getting anything in return, how perfect this world would be and this is one of the healthy mindset that I think every one of us need to have is to show kindness every single day to a stranger or even to a person that you know or a person that you love and the most important thing in this is that you don't want to keep score 
So if you show someone kindness, you don't want to write it down and you know, contemplating that. Like, what am I getting in return after doing this, after doing this? If you keep score, you are making your life a living hell. You will be very, you will be living a miserable life. So show kindness today, but don't keep score. And the third, it might sound woo-woo, but it's not. The third K I'm going to share with you is karma. Basically, don't look at this in a spiritual way. Karma is just the concept of cause and effect. You do some thing that's a cause and it will effect into something like the result. So if you want to get to where you want to be, you need to put in the hard work. That is the cause and that is the effect. And you really need to trust karma or if you don't like the word karma, you really need to trust the system of cause and effect because whenever there's a cause, there is definitely an effect. And you might ask me, why is it that I put in so much work and I don't get to where I want to be? And then you give up. You might ask me that, like, where's that effect? So that's the another thing I want you to pay attention to is that Delayed gratification, delayed gratification is what we also need to be aware of because sometimes you put in a lot of hard work and then you don't see the results so you stop working on it, you just give up but there's just maybe just one more week until you get what you really want do you really think that everything that we do, you will get instant, instant rebate. You don't. So you just need to be very, you just need to trust fully into the system of karma or the system of cause and effect because one day you would know that all these things that you do, all this hard work, all this heart and soul and sweat that you put into, is coming back to you you just need to be patient so these are the three k's three k or three keys that i want to share with you this week if you like my videos be sure to subscribe i'll see you next week thank you for watching